Well, from growing up on a ranch in rural Saskatchewan to being a seven-time Stanley Cup champion, that is the remarkable story of hockey great Brian Trotche. A journey that he recounts in his new memoir, All Roads Lead Home, A Life On and Off the Ice. With more on the stories that shaped his incredible career, we're so thrilled to have Brian in the studio this morning. Welcome to your morning. Thank you, Emery. Pleasure to be here. I Thank love you. that you wore your ranching hat. There's not enough of those on our set. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's so many great stories through your career that you could have picked in your book. I cannot imagine how difficult it was to, to choose the ones that you did. Let's start with your formative years. You write about them so beautifully. They were spent on a ranch doing physical work, days that were long, no excuses. How did that upbringing shape who you were? Well, I think it uh, reflects well on my parents. I give you, you learn all about work ethic. You, you watch them and you see how they handle the pressures of an everyday life and on the ranch and farming and raising kids and uh, getting everything you done <laughs> with school and activities and, you know, uh, it, but I was, a, I was a hired hand, you know, we're, we're basically in the garden, we're doing chores every day, milking cows and it was great, you know, we thought this is, this is just life and, um, you know, you get barked at a little bit by dad, but, you know, you, we had great meals, three meals a day, you know, we didn't have a lot of money, but, uh, they found, always found a way to get, have skates and hockey sticks and equipment that we needed to, to play all our sports. I love that motto. I don't do a job to get it done. I do a job to get it done right. right. Yeah, that was dad. That was dad. And, you know, he was, uh, his, his, his word meant a lot. Firm handshake, look a guy in the eye and, uh, you know, mean what you say and then follow up and hold yourself accountable, all those things. And it pays off, you know, yeah. it, it really paid off. Well, let's talk about how it paid off. It is the dream of every young player that puts on skates to have lift, to lift that Stanley Cup. I mean, kids pretend it on their driveways all the time. You've done it seven times, four with the Islanders, two with the Penguins. You describe so well in this book what that was like. You remember it so clearly the first time you held it and how you chased it down so you could hold it again. Can you share with us this great story about what you did with the Stanley Cup the first time it came home? Well, it's a powerful dream, and it's even a more powerful feeling when you have when you have the Stanley Cup in your hands because it's so cool to touch. You can feel the names that are engraved on it, and you think, "Wow, they're going to put my name on there. It's going to be on there forever." But you can't help but read some of the, the greats like Jean Beliveau and Gordie Howe and Bobby Orr, uh, some of your own favorites, and you're like, I, I, "This is beyond belief." And um, when you raise it up, you feel like a weightlifter because you know, that moment, the people screaming at you, we love you, I love you too. And you don't want to lose that feeling. You want it back all the time. But we had a party over at uh, the Beaver Dam Club. And after I said, Bill, where's the, Bill Torrey was our general manager. I said, where's, where's the cup going tonight? He goes, oh, it's probably just going back to my house. We've got the parade tomorrow. I said, may I take it home? And I was just, so I just kind of snuck it out from the <laughs> keeper of the cup and put it in the back seat of the car. And, raced home and I wanted I wanted to wake up and see it first thing in the morning so I put it right at the foot of the bed opened up the drapes at the window I knew that morning sun was going to come in and shine on that thing and it couldn't have happened any better I popped my eyes open that thing was just gleaming and it is the holy grail of hockey but I think it's the most spectacular trophy in sports it just has such rich history and uh, the, all the hands that have touched it you know mm -hmm. before you and uh, all the hands are going to touch it afterwards so like it's just really kind of a special special trophy and we hold it with such reverence it's, it's spectacular. So, yeah, to be able to share that story about the Stanley Cup is a favorite. Yeah, you've got some great ones in here. And I wish we had time to get into the one about you with the legends. You have this whole chapter on learning from the legends. And you, you mentioned all the greats and what you learned. I want to ask you, though, about the foreword that was written by Jesse Thistle. He yeah. talks about how you have a Métis Cree background, yeah. how that was important to him. And he said he would trade a Gretzky card for your card any day of the week. What does hearing about that reflection on representation mean for you? Well, it's how we revered the pioneers before us, the Freddie Sakamooses and um, George Armstrong and Jim Nielsen. So they were bigger than life for all of us that had uh, Indigenous blood. But we thought, man, if they can make it, maybe I can too. So I think you want to inspire the next generation of uh, Aboriginal athlete and say, you know what, stay in school, make some healthy choices, have, have a dream, follow it up, look for look for all the support you can, and it's okay, you can leave home. Like being shy like I was and, and uh, homesick all the time, um, just you're representing your family, take all your values and all, this, all the strength that you have and uh, in family and, and take care of it with you and you can always come home. And uh, so that's really what it meant to me to be mm -hmm. able to have those, uh, those indigenous roots and how it reflects well on all of us. And Jesse was awesome, like he's such a hockey fan and yeah. I, he wrote a, a wonderful forward, I can't thank him enough. It was really beautiful. The whole book is just incredible. Thank you. Everyone can come home. All roads home. A life on and off the ice is available now. A great read and such a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for and coming Marie, today. Thank you. Pleasure to be here, guys. Thanks. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.